Okay, I can see myself on the other. So if you don't know what Buff Vision is, Buff Vision is this awesome service that the University of Colorado has. So I'm being broadcast in the other room. So hi, other room. I feel like I'm right there with you. Um, thank you to our hosts, CU, the University of Colorado Boulder. Um, does anyone like this venue? All right. Nice views. We have the Jumbotron up and running. Um, so you'll see our logos out there. You'll see our sponsors' logos. Uh, my name is Kevin, by the way. I, I actually wrote down that I should introduce myself. Uh, Kevin Bullock. Um, thank you to all the attendees that have shown up. Uh, we were overwhelmed with the number of attendees. You've come from all over the United States, all over North America, all over the world. Um, Kudos to those who flew internationally and braved U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. Thank you for doing that. We, we were afraid of that, but it uh, looks like some people made it through. Unfortunately, we had several of our international visa applicants not uh, able to join us, so we're sad about that, but they will be watching this remotely. Um, so hello to you. Um, okay, so quick questionnaire. Who is attending State of the Map US for the first time. Oh my gosh. All right, what's that, 50%? 50%, that's great. Thank you for coming. Um, as I was thinking about what to say, and by the way, I'm just gonna take a couple minutes here. Uh, I thought, well, geez, maybe I'll talk about what State of the Map is and some of the things I wish someone had told me my first time when I attended uh, four years ago. Because this conference is different. If you haven't already figured that out, um, Abby was saying to me, oh, this, the vibe here is pretty cool and <laughs> not used to this. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so this conference is different. different, um, And so I want to explain or try to explain the reasons why. Um, OpenStreetMap is a volunteer-run, contribution-driven project that we all work on. We map, we add features, we correct other people's maps and features, we write code. Without the mass of volunteers, and there's m over a million worldwide, OpenStreetMap would be dead. This conference has that same principle of being volunteer driven. Uh, nobody is paying the organizers or giving us requirements for this conference. Um, so you'll see a bunch of people in these lavender, I was told they're not purple, lavender t-shirts. Uh, for the last year, we've been working on organizing this sort of in our spare time. And you'll also see a bunch of people in yellow shirts. I see a few of them around the side. There's about 30 of our uh, volunteers who are gonna be helping us uh, throughout the, throughout the uh, next coming days. Um, and we have, this is probably a record for State of the Map, we have about 100 people who will actually be presenting, be on a panel, be doing a workshop, so 100 people will have a microphone throughout the course of the next three days out of 500 people. So 20% of you will be speaking and contrib contributing your talents and your experiences and sharing with others. And we couldn't have done any of that without volunteers. So I wanted to tip my hat to the volunteers. Um, as a result, oh, thank you. Oh, yes. I'd, thank you, volunteers. And by the way, all of you, can be volunteers too. If you see something uh, that someone who needs help, please chip in. Um, I know all of you are very experienced at doing that uh, with your uh, all the work you've done with OpenStreetMap. Um, the net result of all that is this is a super real conference, super genuine. Uh, what you what you'll hear today are real stories, relevant stories. We didn't even give our speakers themes or requirements. We said come in and talk about the projects you're working on and what's relevant to you and, and the space or the industry or the organizations you work in. And if you pardon my language, this is a no bullshit conference. You can quote me on that. Um, everything you, you'll hear today, the people you meet are real. So here's what you have to do. You have to have fun. That's the only rule. Have fun, learn something, meet somebody new, Share an experience when you get home. Hopefully come to State of the Map 2018, State of the Map US 2018. And um, if you think this is cool, and if you want to see more of it, uh, 
you can become a part of the OpenStreetMap US chapter uh, for $20 a year, uh, that's like four coffees, that lasts for the whole year, and you can also become a part of the OpenStreetMap Foundation, otherwise known as the OSMF, for 15 pounds a year, which I'm told converts to $20. Um, and that will help us do more of these things, more conferences, more meetups, uh, more organization, and it's gonna help OpenStreetMap a lot. So I appreciate everyone's time. Thank you for coming. It's overwhelming and awesome to see everyone. And I'm gonna turn it over to Kate Chapman, who I'll introduce. Uh, she's gonna go over all the important stuff, so thank you. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> So I want to ask one question. This is my second time helping organize State of the Map US. Who was at State of the Map US in 2010 in Atlanta, Georgia? It's pretty wild to see this, isn't it? Um, how much it's grown. So I'm just going to go over some basic logistics here. Uh, so we have these two rooms for our talks. Everything is here today. In, uh, up on this floor, except for lunch. Uh, for lunch, we have two options. Um, I think quite a few of you have signed up for a boxed lunch, which you can sit out on the bleachers right out this door and enjoy the 70 de odd degree weather today. And we also have a buffet over in the touchdown club over there underneath that jumbotron. And to get there, you walk out behind the other room, behind the screen, and there's signs to guide you on your way. Hopefully, um, all of you are joining us tonight. We're having a reception um, over on the rooftop over there from 6 to 7.30 p.m. tonight. So I hope to see you there. Uh, I just want to mention a little bit about this is a zero waste facility. So you may have noticed there's no trash cans and thought, oh my god, what do I do? Um, so the, uh, the recycling thing, if you don't know what to do, you actually stick it in the recycling and then it gets sorted at a central facility later. So if you read the fine print over there, that's what you do. It's better that you're not bringing in a bunch of trash, so if you can avoid it, wonderful. But if you're not quite sure what to do, that's what you do. And then emergency procedures. Um, there's stairs and emergency exits on both sides of the hall here. And so in case of any emergencies, please, in an orderly manner, take the stair those staircases. Finally. Uh, we're a conference with a code of conduct. To summarize that, treat people as you wish to be treated. If you, need, if you want to review the detailed code of conduct, it's in the program. If you have any issues, look for someone in a purple shirt today or a turquoise short shirt tomorrow, and we'll be sure to take care of you. Finally, without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to put this on. And I'd especially like to highlight our gold sponsors. Um, thank you, Cubic, Digital Globe, Facebook, Mapbox, Microsoft, and Telenav. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And thank you to all of our other sponsors. You should definitely go check out their tables in the exhibit area and, and chat with them. Finally, uh, to, to wrap up Kevin and my intro, I'd like to introduce Abby Benson. She's the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Research and Innovation for Aerospace Ventures and Industry Collaboration here at CU Boulder. Without Abby and her team, we wouldn't be here today. They've been very gracious and generous hosts. Um, they also have an exhibit table where you can check out more about what they do. If you're ready, Abby, would you like to join me? <laughs> and thank, thank you so much. Thanks, Kate and Kevin, for that introduction. And wow, yeah, I was saying to Kevin when I walked in this morning that the energy is really palpable here. So I'm excited to see you all here. I want to say on, on behalf of CU Boulder, Boulder welcome mappers. mappers. Um, I'm, I'm glad, glad that you, you I'm, I'm having here. here. I'm, I'm glad, glad that you made it here. here. <laughs> no. Technology. Ah, whatever. 
Anyway, I'm glad you made it here. We're at Folsom Field. Uh, I hope you are stunned by the view. It's the perfect place to have a presentation and a conference here at CU. But if there's one thing I want you to walk away from your time here is that you're also at the site of a world-class research university. So CU Boulder conducts over $500 million of research a year. We have 30,000 students. We have just incredible partnerships here, and we have some lofty goals. We want to be the, the innovation university. We want to impact humanity, and we want to shape tomorrow's leaders. So everything that we do is you know, focused on those three themes. Um, the way we do it is partnership. So conferences like this, I was really happy to have my team help support getting this conference here and making sure that uh, you have some of our faculty presenting and some of our students participating. I do want to mention they're here in case you want to talk to them later. Bud Pope and Kristen Feeney and um, Jenny Armanderas here in the front row. Just raise your hands. So they're going to be here throughout the conference. And if you have any questions about CU, they're, they're available to answer questions. Uh, we do our work through partnerships. So the Office of Industry Collaboration is our group. Uh, we are really here to build bridges between industry and the university, usually our faculty and our students who want to do research to help industry solve some of their complex problems. We're also just an entry point into the university. So if anybody is interested in learning more about CU, talk to me, talk to a member of our team. That's really why we exist. Um, I also want to say that we have lots of research that's really relevant to the presentations you're going to hear today. I won't go into great detail, but just some examples. We've got uh, a grand challenge that's focused on Earth and space science. So you see two of our projects up here, IRIS and Earth Lab. There are a lot of acronyms, but if you go to our booth, you can learn more about it. We're looking at unmanned aerial systems. We're looking at space. We're looking at ways to get information from space and analyze it here on the ground. All of this, I think, is really relevant to the work that you all do. We're looking at things like fire. We're looking at things like human migration and population change. So whether it's aerospace engineering, Earth and space science, social sciences, uh, we have it all here at CU Boulder. So I know you're not here to learn all about CU Boulder, but I want to make sure you understand that and take it away and know that you have an entry point uh, if you are interested in learning more. And we're really, really pleased to have you here. It sounds like it's going to be a great few days. So thanks to everyone for coming, and uh, I look forward to hearing the presentations. Thank you. Thank you very much, Abby. So. I'm up here now to introduce our keynote, CJ Loria. Um, his bio is in our program, so I don't feel like I need to read it out loud to you. But I've been thinking about it a little bit in hashtags. You know, hashtag astronaut, hashtag test pilot, hashtag aerospace executive. I haven't searched on the hashtag aerospace um, executive or expert. But anyway, what all those things get me really excited. But what puts me over the top is that he's excited about what we're doing. How rad is that? So I'd like to in in invite you up to the stage and thank you very much for speaking with us today.